First ladies, it turns out Melania Trump may have more power in the White House than we previously thought, because last week she called for the removal of Deputy National Security Advisor and woman just dominating the staring contest, <laughs> Mira Ricardo. And while previous First Ladies have called for staffing changes in private, Melania made hers very public. Her communications director released a statement saying, it is the position of the office of the First Lady that she no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. That is very formal. It was followed by an engraved invitation to kiss my ass. <laughs> After the statement, Ricardo was removed from her job at the White House, and while most people were surprised by the First Lady's bold move, one, purser, one, person, <laughs> one person close to her was not, saying, she can be a knife fighter. She's a Trump, after all. That's not entirely fair. They don't let Eric near sharp objects. <laughs> well, I think before we judge, we should hear the First Lady's side. Joining us now for an exclusive interview, live from the White House, please welcome Melania Trump. <laughs> Madam, good to see you. Hello, Stephen. Madam First Lady, thank you for joining us. Also, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. <laughs> I look forward to the annual pardoning of the turkeys. The only ones in the White House who won't be going to jail. <laughs> Good to see you have your own drum player in the White House. It's the whole Marine Corps band, actually. They're all here. Well, I, I have to ask about Mira Ricardo. Why did you call for her to be fired from the White House? Oh, she was lying, she was petty, she was vindictive, and we've pretty much got that covered, so... <laughs> oh, okay, so some people are saying that asking for her to be fired via press release was a tad insensitive. They are? Oh, no. Steven, you know me. You know me. <laughs> All I want is to end bullying. And if you disagree with that, I will crush you like a tiny bug underneath my stiletto. <laughs> Crunch. But, but isn't... Mm. Isn't this something you should have handled with your husband in private? Oh, Stephen, I haven't handled my husband's privates in years. <laughs> this is a side of the public... The public hasn't seen the side of you before, but... <laughs> Stephen, are you okay? No. Stephen, I'm are... not okay. This entire thing is very upsetting. Oh. You understand, this is a side of you the public hasn't seen before. They've not seen this side of me. But your friends aren't surprised. One of them even called you a knife fighter. What? No, Stephen, you know me. <laughs> you know I'm just an innocent little first lady. I am only called on for harmless ceremonial duties, like the carving of the White House turkey. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know there was a ceremony for that. There isn't. Turkey is my nickname for John Kelly. Oh! <laughs> the chief of staff has implied that your actions last week made the administration look bad. Oh, it's true. I've gone too far this time. That's why I have issued a new statement. It is the position of the office of the First Lady that Melania Trump no longer deserves to stay in the White House. <laughs> Fire me next, Donald! Please let me out! <laughs> Melania Trump, everybody. We'll be right back with Melania.